Welcome to Potter's Smoke Control Overview video. Today we will discuss the smoke control features for the version 6 IPA series panels as well as a general description of smoke control systems. Smoke control systems can be configured in two different ways, dedicated or non-dedicated. Dedicated systems are used exclusively for smoke control. Fans and dampers activate automatically, but only when there is a fire or when manually activated by the firefighter smoke control station. A weekly self-test is required to assure it's operable. The second configuration is a non-dedicated system. In this type of system, fans, air handling units, and dampers are used on a daily basis for temperature control of a building. Since this equipment is used on a daily basis, it is considered more reliable and does not require a dedicated weekly test. Two of the most common configurations you will see are zone smoke control and stairwell pressurization. Zone smoke control is accomplished by exhausting smoke from the fire floor. The floors above and below the fire floor are then pressurized to prevent smoke migration to those areas. Stairwell pressurization is accomplished by simply pressurizing the stairwell to prevent smoke from entering the stairwell. The purpose of either zone smoke control or sterile pressurization is to provide a smoke-free evacuation path during a fire. A smoke control system will also consist of a firefighter smoke control station. This will be a standalone cabinet containing a graphical representation of the smoke control system. Three position switches for manual control of fans and dampers, a manual control enable switch, fan and damper status LEDs, lamp tests, and a smoke control station power LED. The three position fan damper control switches will act as follows. When in the auto position, the fire alarm panel controls fan damper activation, the normal LED should be illuminated at this point. To manually activate or open the fan or damper, turn the key to the on or open position. Once the panel sees a positive on or open feedback from the fan or damper, the on LED will illuminate. To manually turn off or close the fan or damper, turn the key to the off or close position. Once the panel sees a positive off or close feedback from the fan or damper, the off LED will illuminate. The fault LED will illuminate if the panel does not receive a positive feedback signal from the fan or damper. To accommodate these standard smoke control systems, the Potter programming software has several point types specifically for smoke control. The following inputs are available. Smoke control manual override for the key switch enable on the firefighter smoke control station. Smoke control manual open on and closed off to monitor the position of the manual control switch. Smoke control opener on and closed off status inputs to monitor the positive feedback contacts of the fan or damper. The smoke control output function types are as follows. Smoke control opener on and closed or off relays for controlling the fans or dampers. Smoke control opener on, closed or off, normal and fault indicators to illuminate the LEDs on the firefighter's smoke control station. In addition to specific smoke control point types, the fire panel programming software also contains a smoke control zone style. All smoke control point types must be assigned to a smoke control zone, except the manual override, which does not get assigned to any zone. The smoke control style zones contain validation timer settings for positive feedback from the fans or dampers. NFPA requires a 60 second validation time for fans and 75 seconds for dampers. These zones also contain the settings for the weekly test required by NFPA for a dedicated smoke control system. There are also check boxes to enable LED status tracking for the fans or dampers and to allow multiple activations. Additionally, relays configured as HVAC shutdown when added to a smoke control zone will be activated by any input in that zone. Once a smoke control style zone has been added to a program, a new option will appear under the General Options tab of the software. Smoke control manual control is supervisory, will automatically be checked and means that activating any of the manual control switches will enunciate a supervisory condition on the fire panel. Thank you for watching this video on smoke control. Don't forget to follow us on social media. And if you have any questions, contact tech support at the number or email address shown on the screen.